Hi, everybody. This is Patrick Snow for Talk of the Town at Acton TV. We are coming to you with a special Zoom quarantine episode of Talk of the Town. We're here today with a really cool guest. I'm here with Abby J and uh, Abby J's brother. I'm sorry, what's your brother's name? What's your name again, Abby J's brother? Aditya. We're talking about Abby J's Fun World. So I just heard about this YouTube channel for the first time and somebody showed this to me and they were like, hey, you have to check this out. This local kid is making some really cool videos. And I was kind of blown away by it. I was like, what? You turned eight, like what, two days ago? Yeah, I turned eight on May 20th. Wow. Well, happy birthday, first of all. Thank you. Could you tell me a little bit about how you got an idea to have your own YouTube channel? So I got the idea um, by when I'm when I'm staying home on the lockdown. I can see my my parents working and working on the computers, and then I um asked them, um, uh, "What are you doing?" And then my mom said, "She's doing computer programming." Huh. I asked, can I do computer programming? And then my mom told me about Scratch and I started learning what the blocks mean and I started learning and day by day I got better. Then I thought maybe I can share my, um, share my knowledge with the whole world. And then I thought we could create a YouTube channel and then we created the YouTube channel and then we added some Scratch videos and then we added some book reading videos and we're gonna add some science videos. I like that it's called Abby J's Fun World because that means that you have the ability to add all kinds of different videos. Uh, so you just learned this for the first time very recently? I started learning Scratch um, about last month. So can I ask you this, what was it like for you learning it for the first time? I know that for me, when I was a kid, we was like the very beginning of using computers and I got a little frustrated sometimes. So um, for me, when I started um, doing Scratch, it was pretty okay because when I started looking at the blocks, I kind of understand it like the when green flag clicked, or like move 10 blocks, or like turn 15 degrees, I understand those. And then I started making small animations. And then I started getting bigger, like the Conquer Corona one. And then I um, learned about all the blocks and then I started creating the YouTube channel and then we started doing the episodes and yeah. One thing I like about the way you host the channel is I like that you have such a fun, lighthearted attitude in front of the camera. It helps make people feel like they can do it too. Like, hey, let's just have fun. What is your approach when you're in front of the camera and you're talking to the audience? Like, what are you going for? I'm going for um, all kinds of fun and I'm going to hope that um, the people who are watching my channel learn my videos and um, that's pretty much it. <sighs> so have you always been a performer? Not really. Um, I just started this channel like one month ago. So what's it been like? Uh, did you feel, did it feel good getting up in front of the camera and doing it? Did you feel nervous? So when I started, I kind of felt a little nervous, but it was okay when I started getting into the middle. And then when, when I got more into it, it was awesome. I mean, you have a very natural screen presence. You have a good, a good energy up there. And it's something that, uh, it's talent, but you can also tell that it's, it's a lot of hard work. You know, it's something that people, people work at it to be able to, to be in front of a camera and project that kind of energy. So, so I congratulate you on, on what you've done with that. Thank you. What do you hope that somebody gets out of uh, of your channel if you're if when they're watching it. Yeah, I hope they don't get like too frustrated that they're not getting it, and I hope they just have fun. Oh, awesome! I like that uh, you've expanded to the story times. Those are pretty cool too. How do you pick out those books? The first one, you know, the Lilo's Pumpkin one. That one uh, was one of my favorites when I was little, and it's still one of my favorites now. And the second one. I picked it out because my brother's going to kindergarten. Do you get along really well as brothers, would you say? Um, that's probably medium because <laughs> we sometimes fight, we sometimes play nicely, and we sometimes don't play nicely at all. <laughs> I have three brothers myself, so uh, so I, I can relate to that. It's definitely, you can tell that there's a lot of editing and post-production work done into it too. Uh, there's lots of editing. My mom does all the editing because I don't know how to do the editing really. Yeah. Well, maybe someday you'll do a tutorial for that too. Well. <laughs> <laughs> 
I, I edit videos myself, but I don't program at all. So that, so I feel like if you can do, if you can do the programming part of it, I think someday you'll be a, a real master at the editing part. Thank you. This is more a question for, uh, for your brother, but um, what are, do you both, would you say that you both share the same passion for teaching people and making videos? Do you like it just as much? You um, like, you teach people, do you like teaching? <laughs> you like being in the videos though? Do you like working with your brother? Yes. 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 People don't always realize that there's a lot of preparation that goes into making a video too. So by the time you see two people in front of the camera, you know that they've already been planning it out and setting things up. And you know that that even if you fight that sometimes that that can only happen when you have a pretty good working relationship with somebody. Thank you. So if you don't mind my asking, so obviously everybody right now is, life in general has been a little bit um, upended with so many people, you know, quarantined and staying home. Uh, what is what has that been like at your house? Um, it's, go it's going pretty well. Um, it's very hard to not be with my friends and all that. And yeah. I go to Covenant School and I'm in second grade. And um, my teacher is Mrs. Spencer and um, I um, have real fun playing with my family and everything. And I also play, when I, in my free time, I play some chess and I also do some guitar. Oh, very cool. So I know you said you've been missing your friends. I'm out of the loop. Like what's, what's it like being a second grader learning remotely? Like, do you get to see your classmates and your teacher like remotely? I see my classmates and my teachers in Zoom, okay, except Friday and Saturday and Sunday. Is that going okay for you? It's going pretty well. What are you most looking forward to about um, about it being over and getting to go out into the world and see people again? I'm really looking forward for um, like going on walks and going to school, pl getting play dates with my friends. Yeah. I guess one of the last things I really want to ask is, what is your advice to your your fellow second graders, your fellow kids out there? who have similar ideas and things that they're passionate about, but they maybe haven't taken that first step yet because they're like a little bit nervous about it. The advice is um, just keep trying and try your best and never stop learning. Well, thank you so much for uh, inviting me virtually into your home today to talk about this, this awesome channel. Um, what's the next step? You can give us like a sneak preview of like some of the other videos that you're working on? We're gonna do lots more videos um, and we're also gonna um, add some science videos onto the channel and oh. science experiments. Oh, very cool, very cool. I think that's most of the questions I wanted to ask. Did you have anything else that you specifically wanted to make sure that we talked about in the video? No, I'm good, but thank you for inviting me for this interview. Oh, thank you very much for sitting down with me today and I can't wait to see more of your videos. You're welcome. Once again, thank you so much for inviting me. Oh, my pleasure, my pleasure. Maybe I'll uh, I'll check in with you again sometime the more as you as you move forward with this. It's uh Okay. Perfect.